Thank you, Georgi. All right. So ESB Business School um, is a, we are part of a, um, a Fachhochschule, a University of Applied Sciences, but um, very different from what the presentations you've heard already. Um, Reutlingen University has the distinction of being the only university from uh, selected from the federal government of Germany to be the most international university in Germany. And um, just so that you understand, um, we also are internationally accredited our business school and programs. So we have the AACSB accreditation. So we're very unique in that we are, you know, punching um, above our weight, as we say. We're a small university, but our um, uh, programs and our school are internationally known and ranked. So, um, you know, the, um, so that's very important for you in terms of how you're selecting university and um, um, why ESB and why Reutlingen. Well, Reutlingen University has been around for over 165 years, okay? Um, and um, uh, ESB Business School over 55 years. And uh, I, I have met some of those professors who founded our business school. And uh, back in the day before in Germany, business schools existed. Before there was a faculty, the business professors were part of a different school. In our case, it was um, textile management and textile engineering. And so we taught the business courses within the textile faculty. But uh, our professors were very internationally oriented and they went to the government and said, we want to form a business school, something quite new back then. And they were given that um, responsibility as long as they could pick a focus and their focus was international management. And so um, we have many firsts in ESB as a uh, result of that. Um, our MBA is over 30 years. So we were the first or one of the first to offer an MBA program as well. Um, we have a campus. Uh, we were um, over um, 40 years ago, a wealthy person uh, um, um, passed away and gave us huge property outside of the center of Reutlingen. So we have campus dormitories. Um, our university has overall over 35% international students on campus at any one time. So we have a a beautiful campus environment. Um, and um, we have many, many um, students from all over the world. Our university has um, over 120 partnerships with universities all over the world and four programs. And, um, and our MBA programs and our business school, over 50 different universities that we work with. So we're quite um, international, as you might be able to see. I am a American, um, and um, um, but I've been at uh, Reutlingen for over uh, 20 years now. Okay. Also, as was mentioned, you want to know who you're studying with and the type of people. I always want to say to you is that this is an investment. You're going to be three semesters, four semesters in a university. That's two years of your life, a year and a half. It, the goal shouldn't just be get my MBA. It's how the experience you're going to have during that time. Invest in yourself and pick the proper environment and the right degree and the right content for you and you'll be successful. That's what I've done in my past and that's what I really would like to see of, of my students at all times. So, so what type of people you know, are we talking about? Well, if you know anything about the international university environment, the best universities try to recruit professors and leaders out of the best universities. So um, I have three colleagues of mine, three professors, my closest colleagues, who are presidents of universities in Germany. Um, and so um, we also have um, two of my students. Um, one is the president of EBS, Osterschwinkel, and was the dean of the IE Business School in Madrid before he became the, the president. And another of my students, for example, is vice president at the University of Esland. Mm -hmm. So our professors and students have brought 
um, you know, many accomplishments. Um, those are just some examples. And then, of course, you will see as I move on that um, most of our graduates are at high level positions in leading international companies. So, so we say that um, we are truly international in um, ESB. We have international professors, we have international students, internationally oriented programs, international content. Um, because we've been a business school so long, we also have one of the largest alumni associations in Germany, over 4,800 members. And so very active alumni association, a Verein, a, a actual association registered with the government. We also have a, a separate registered association of major companies, international companies that regularly attend our events and donate to our um, school. So, um, so those um, firms look like this. Okay. So the largest uh, software firms in the world, the largest retailers in the world, a significant number of the best known uh, consulting firms, industrial firms. We are in the south in the Stuttgart area. So we have Porsche nearby. We have um, very strong contacts with Porsche and with um, uh, Mercedes. Um, um, we also have, a, um, I have personal relationship with the president of SMART um, that is a um, joint venture out of Mercedes and these other firms. And if you looked at my background, you'll know that I took a leave of absence from uh, Reutlingen for four years. I was the vice president at SAP and uh, led a global um, organization there. And before I was a professor, I had uh, 20 years of business experience, including startup companies in Silicon Valley and taking them public as the uh, senior vice president and board member of those companies. So we have this significant um, organization. So these partners, you see these companies are part of our network and they have dedicated uh, contact to us belonging to an association uh, that supports us. We have a career center in our school and uh, very professionally run to support students. Now, for all of the programs you're going to hear about um, today, um, Germany is exceptional. If you're a foreign student or if you're in Germany, maybe you don't realize how exceptional Germany is because of this hundreds of years uh, history of companies, local, medium-sized, and the largest, working directly with education at every level, from schools to high schools, to technical schools, to universities. They uh, have this strong connection and they're constantly involved in the education and offering opportunities to students. And so our career center is the bridge between this excellent system. Um, uh, so the, every, if you go to a German university, you should really know that this exceptional situation and how great the contacts are with universities and they want to um, hire, provide internships, provide projects, higher uh, graduates. Um, um, so that's just built into our system. But also look for in ESB, we have this very serious career center where we know that we need to have that bridge between our students and those company offers. Right? Okay. So who should apply to our MBA of international management that's been around for over uh, 30 years. Well, we're looking preferably for non-business uh, graduates. We're talking about engineers, social scientists, people who've worked in the government, people who've worked for NGOs, um, primarily non-business students um, should be seeking out an MBA because it is their first degree in business. Okay? So that's what we're looking for. But again, if you have a significant amount of experience and you studied business before, the world has changed and you may need a refresher MBA. And so we, we don't um, stop any business graduates from also participating 
if they can bring um, this type of background that you can read on the screen for yourself here. So we're interested in developing you as a strong leader. So we want to provide in our courses and the courses you can find, we have accounting and finance and strategic marketing, corporate strategy, business uh, law, international business law. Um, we have uh, some very interesting electives because our professors have come from McKinsey and BCG and from um, Mercedes themselves as management level, or for me, um, as, as I mentioned, from the IT industry in operations and finance. Okay? So create a, a management toolkit that you can use and apply when you graduate and show yourself as with management potential. We have upgraded and updated our programs recently. We're constantly doing that to add digital enablement to the courses. Okay? We want you to have a strategic mindset, but you know, when you first graduate, you're going to have an operational position. So you have to have those capabilities, the supply chain understanding, uh, complete um, um, understanding of uh, from end to end of the business um, operations and strategy, okay? And uh, management orientation ch and change management, be willing to change what you think management, you know, sometimes management isn't being the leader, it's, it's showing others how to lead, right? And so, um, and very important to us because of our long history, international history, is that you have a cultural sensitivity and international understanding um, and you give time to each other and um, in your projects and in your careers to see, you know, that people might be different if they're not in your culture and they may not have the same focus as you do, but they can bring something else to the plate that will be um, really uh, beneficial for you to apply yourself and learn from. So that's what we would like to offer you as well for that. Okay. And so um, we have an uh, MBA philosophy that's grown out of our many, many years. And we have many women professors, many international professors, and many German professors, of course, at the German University, but all with significant, significant business experience to also bring to the lecture rooms and to our environment. Okay? This is a, a picture of um, the um, um, outside area of our MBA building. Now, um, to apply, that we are primarily talking to you about our full English MBA full-time program for most of the people probably online, but I was hoping there may also be some people foreign and German or EU citizens who are online who are working and want to continue to work, and then they can join our executive style part-time program as well. Um, but the full-time program is fully in English, okay? Last three semesters, the, um, we're a public university, so um, about 80% of the costs are covered by the government. And so everyone who would come to us is really getting a significant uh, support, scholarship type support. So we keep our tuition down. Um, it's 10,400 euros for the complete program in the full-time program. And in their part-time program, people are working full-time while they're going to classes, either in a block a week or mostly weekends, Friday nights, Saturdays. And that program has significant amount of English, but it also has courses in German. So if you happen to be in Germany or in Europe and you have some German skills and you want to have a job full-time while you're studying, uh, please give some consideration to that. And since it's part-time, you can complete that in um, uh, two years plus one more five uh, four-month period for writing your thesis. And the cost for that is 14,750 euros. Okay. So the leadership of our um, program, we have uh, um, Professor Las Leben at the top, who is the head of the full-time MBA program. Um, we have um, then assistants who support him, Emma Heath and Kristen Bender. 
at the part-time executive style program, we have Professor Nufar, who's the head of the program, and Heike Trost and Melinda Schaub are uh, the key people supporting him. We have bigger teams than this, but these are the people that you would interact with. And then my official position, I used to be dean of the school and I was a head of programs, um, but now I am, after returning from SAP, I'm taking more of a support role. I enjoy that, um, at being a professor and an academic and um, a consultant and less directly involved in uh, full-time business. So I'm the examinations officer of both uh, our, of our MBA programs. And I work very closely with Mrs. Hartmann, who is our office uh, exam office secretary. So those are the people that you would get to know in your application process. And we really hope that you would um, you know, um, apply and get to know us better and um, apply to others as well. But um, you know, we'd love to see you um, in Reutlingen and see you in um, your application come in. Thank you very much for your time.